What's up, guys? My name is Peek and you, and um, yeah, Peek Army. I did it. I beat Metaton. I beat I beat him up on on TV. See, he's not here, so yeah. And then Alphys was like, you know, bothering me. I was walking, and then like a couple steps, she'd stop and say something, and she wouldn't let me pass. It'd just be like this. And I, I'd just be trying to pass, and it wouldn't happen. And then, like, when I talked to her, it'd just be, like, three dots. And then, like, when I got to, uh, the elevator and did this, she was like, wait, I got it to you. It was like, um, she said, it doesn't just take a human soul to pass the barrier. You need a monster soul, too. So you're going to have to kill Asgore. And I'm like, dang. Because I know Asgore is probably going to be, like, the, the uh, toughest thing. Because they kept on saying he was nice. Nah, he ain't nice towards humans. I can hardly tell. He eats them things for breakfast. Alright, uh -oh. Eat them things for breakfast, lunch, dinner, all of that. Um, so, either we about to die countless times or we about to solve this. Uh, can we go? Thank you. Um, let me, let me close that. Sorry if you heard the bell. That was, that was my cat. He's in my room, too. Say hi, Sebastian. He actually said hey. And I didn't want to save, like, anywhere over here. Because I didn't want you guys being like, oh, so he's just going to complete stuff without us. The elevator is in use. The elevator is in use, huh? Okay. Mm. I'm out of food, by the way. See, just look. Normally, it will let you into the uh, stats thing, but it's not letting me into the stat thing. Something tells me I'm going to need that pie, because... Wait, hold up. No. Okay, um... Let's see. Yeah, um, because... Remember, I told you guys, my friend said, Asgore, like, for Asgore, you want to keep the pie. And I'm glad I didn't eat the pie. I was like, something tells me it's going to be important. And my friend was all like, yeah, it's important. So, yeah. Ooh, what's, what's all that? Ooh. This looks like Toriel thing. Like, remember in the beginning when, like, Tor Toriel would, uh, was um there? This is her house. Hold up. This is my room. <gasps> Ooh, gifts. There's a heart-shaped lock inside the box. Will you take it? Yeah. Heart shape locket. Let me see. Okay, info. Armor 15 defense. Okay, wait, first let's see what's here. Let's see. There's a worn dagger inside the box. Will you take it? You got the worn dagger. Okay. Attack 15, perfect for cutting plants and vines. Something tells me I'm going to have to equip that. And we're going to equip the heart locket. Okay. Now. I probably should have kept the stained apron. But, I mean, what's the point of having that? Because, look. It um gives like one HP each turn or something. Every other turn, yeah. So that's not gonna be much help. Plus that's eleven defense and I got a fifteen defense locket. Which I don't understand how that works, but whatever. See but look, that's the exact same one. That scared the mess out of me. <laughs> Alright, uh, a long time ago in the ruins, a human fell into... Wait, a long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured rights fall, the human called out for help. Oh, they weren't going to attack me or anything. Let me see. You took the green key and put it on your phone's keychain. That's what's up. It's Asgore's journal. All the current page say... All the current page... Page says it's nice day today. The ink is still almost wet. The king 
it, it's a king size bed. Duh, he's a king. So, it's a bur a bur Buryu, yeah, cause my um friend's last name is Gondryu, and no, it's not the friend that told me about it. Oh, let's see. There's a Santa Claus outfit inside. Oh, it's not. What are you be getting that? It's a clothes drawer. There's there are robes, button-up shirts, and a pink hand-knit sweater that says Mr. Dad Guy. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. It's a trophy. Number one nose nuzzle chance. <laughs> 98. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Hold up, with the chair. It's just a chair. Okay. Oh, what, what's this? Despite everything, it's still you. It's a golden flower. No, I didn't want to go in there. What's this? You just want to admire everything. God dang. It's a golden flower. It's a golden flower. Can I find something that's not a golden flower? It's a golden flower. <sighs> alright, alright. Azrael, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. Okay. I know what to do. Mm hmm. Let's see if it works. Let's see if it works. Come on. I'm walking. Yeah, I heard this glitch. It's not doing anything. Alright, fine. What is this? The way is blocked by two padlocks. There's a note attached. Howdy. I'm in the garden. If you have anything you need to get off your chest, please don't hesitate to come. The keys are in the kitchen and the hallway. Okay, what's, what's here? I'm getting tired of checking though. Wait, oh, hold on, wait, no, 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 no. Hold on, I gotta check the tree. Oh, oh, same. New home. There is no tree. Okay. So Torio has to be like the wife or something. Seems like gardening tools. It's at three percent, y'all. There are photo albums, scrapbooks, books on how to make tea. Oh, that's good. We're making tea. It's a great reading chair, but it doesn't seem like anyone uses it. Mmm. That means Torio must have been here. It's a golden flower. Oh god, that is so scary. Over time, Azrael and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. Let me pause my recording real quick. Bro. Hold. There we go. Okay. The stove is very clean. Someone must use fire magic instead. It's a trash can. It's full of crumbled up recipes for a butterscotch pie. See? Oh, look. Mm -hmm. It's a note. Howdy. Help yourself to anything you want. I swear. There is some white fur stuck in the drain. The fridge is full of unopened containers of snails. Ew. Never mind. Help yourself to a definite your point. I'm good. <laughs> Shoot. We can actually just drop the stuff, right? Tone map was going away. And this was going away. Okay. I'm hoping I made the right choice. The codes are still around. Okay. I checked everything. Okay. So I should be able to unlock this. Okay. Let's see. There's an old calendar from the end of two 
201X. 201X. A date is circled on it. What date? What, 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 what the anniversary is? In a, what? Oh, I can move! Oh, snap! Then one day, the humans became very ill. I wouldn't be surprised. They can't use it. The sick human had only one request. To see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. The next day. The next day. The human died. Dang. Azriel, racked with grief, absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. Mm. It's time to get annoying. With the soul, Azriel crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset, back to the village of the humans. Very sad. As you reached the center of the village, there he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Oh my god, this sounds very really sad. Leave me alone. <laughs> Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Azriel holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. The humans attacked with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Azriel had the power to destroy them all. But Azriel did not fight back. Clutching the human, Azriel smiled and walked away. Wounded, Azriel stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. Oh my goodness, this is a long story. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. Oh my god. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. Why is it always seven? I'm, I'm just wondering. It's not long anymore. King Asgore will give us. Oh, wait. King Asgore will let us go. King Asgore will give us hope. King Asgore will save us all. Goodness. You should be smiling too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? Listen, dude, I'm not trying to die just so I can go. I'm sorry. Listen, I'm not Jesus. I'm not God. I'm not about to sit here and die just so y'all can go. Nah. I'm trying to escape myself. Shoot. You're going to be free. Listen, I don't know what you mean by free. But if you gonna die in free, uh-uh, we gonna save. But you must got me messed up. Look, I'm, I'm nothing but a shadow. Uh, uh, uh. Let me see. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um. Uh. I don't like this, bro. I don't like it. I, I'm, I don't like. I don't have to like it either. Oh Lord. Um, please, Asgore, be kind. That was like something. Oh snap! I killed his brother. He mad as freak, bro. Th did the game freeze? Oh. Is he about to kill me? Cause I killed his brother. I feel bad. <laughs> oh Lord. Um, it's my battery. Eight. <sighs> okay. So.
So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for every action. Crap. You will be judged for every XP you've earned. What's EXP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Point. Oh, snap. Um... I thought it I thought it was experience. My bad. No, I didn't know it was execution point. Wait, execution point. Is he only saying this because I killed papyrus? Cause that, that hurts. A way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. When you kill someone oh god, he, he knows. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. Love too is an acronym. Oh God, what does that stand for? Oh, it stands for level of violence. Oh God, this man is legit mad. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. Now you understand. It's time to begin your judgment. Look inside yourself. Oh, no, please don't do it, bro. Have you really done the right thing? Uh, oh my god. Is there music in the background? Are you serious? There's music in the background, bro. I'm about to die. I've really done the right thing, and considering what you've done, what will you do now? Take a moment to think about this. Man, I killed the pirates, bro. I'm sorry, but it just had to. Listen, I'll take a moment. Uh, Don't kill me, bro. Don't, don't kill me. Truthfully, it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter what you said. All that's important is that you are honest with yourself. What happens now, you leave up to you. Though, one thing about you always struck me as kind of odd. Uh -oh. Now I understand acting in self-defense. You are thrown into situations against your will. But, sometimes, you act like you know what's going to happen. Like you've already experienced it all before. This is an odd thing to say, but if you have some sort of special power, what special power are you talking about, bro? Wait, yeah, that's yellow. The the spare. Let's think things that are yellow, y'all. Hold up. Let's see, the spare, right? You, you you got the spare thing, and then um. The, the monster's names, right? So, is he talking about my sparing power? Like, the ability to... Spare? Oh, you know what? The, the, um, the little crystal thing that I use to, like, save. Nah, he ain't talking about that. <laughs> Alright, bro. You, you, nah. Isn't it your responsibility? Isn't it your responsibility to do the right thing? Yes. Ah. I see. Then why do you kill my brother? This is gonna traumatize me, bro. <laughs> this is gonna traumatize me. Then why'd you kill my brother? I'm sorry. I just wanted to see what would happen. Sans, I'm sorry. He's not there anymore. 
Oh, God. Crap. Alright, um. These vines are grayed out. Nothing. Um. Throne room. I don't want to go in there. Yeah, see, look. Oh, he probably was talking about this. I can save and, like, go back to saves and stuff. We're gonna get a taste of Azur. Pause. But we're we're just gonna go in there and you know dance around and see what's popping. You dig? We we just gonna see all that. What's this? It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Pika. Um, I don't know how the freak they got my name already, but uh, I, I'm not filling up that coffin. I'm not filling up that coffin. You must got me messed up. And I couldn't get through to the other coffins, so I don't know what they say. But I, I assume those are other humans. And those coffins are filled. <laughs> oh, snap. That's a lot. What, what's all this? Oh, God. Hey, what's up, man? You asked Gore, bro. Dum de dum. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. It looked like you just peed them. Here we are. Howdy. How can I? Whoa, 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 what's up with that face? Oh. Listen, can we be friends? I heard you were nice. I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? Yeah, yeah, I would love a cup of tea. But, you know how it is. Um, what, what you doing? Listen, man. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing. Flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. You, you're not planning to chase me around, are you? You know what we must do. When you are ready, come into the next room. Um, I hope he's not talking about fighting. But, uh, may, may, maybe it's a throne. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, it's another throne covered by a white sheet. I think that's Toriel's. Uh, um, I'm scared. Sans talking about some why'd you kill my brother? Oh! Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. Is this where I fell? I don't think that's where I fell. I'm scared. Oh, snap. If you are not, I understand. I am ready either. I think he said way. I'm not sure. Alright, uh. Okay. Uh, it's at 3%. Oh, what, what's this? What the freak is this? These look like the Matrix. This is the barrier. Oh. Okay, y'all can't just walk through that long hallway or something? This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If, if by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. I'm gonna continue. I see. Then, that is it then. Ready? Um, you're not planning on a strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Bro, if I die, I'm gonna be really upset. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Oh, sna- Whoa! Oh! <gasps> no! Oh, I gotta kill him. The 
It's gone. Oh no! Uh, 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 but there was nothing to say. Uh, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh, I don't, I don't know. Sorry. Um. What? What, what the freak? Uh, there, there's no flea. That, but there was nothing to say. I don't want to attack. Ah. Ah. Listen, listen, listen. Right, fine. That didn't do nothing to him. Freak. Ah. Okay. I'm gonna die. There was nothing to say. Oh. We... Oh. Uh, uh. I saw orange. I knew that. Um, Listen, I, I, there was nothing to say. Okay. Oh God, no! We gonna give it one more shot. Only because I didn't have the pie. All right. Um, I don't know how I'm how I'm supposed to use this pie thing. All right, but uh, we we gonna try. Here we go. Let's go. Can I skip the whole thing and just... Because my battery is kind of... Okay, okay, he said ready and... Okay. Alright, let's go. Yeah, go ahead and get rid of the mercy. I don't, I don't care. I'm going to show you this pie. I'm going to eat it right in front of your face. I, I think that's how I'm supposed to do it. Pie. Read the butterscotch pie. Your HP would max out. The smell reminded Asgore or something. Asgore's attack down. As goes the fence down. Free oh. Okay. He reminded him of something. Okay. That didn't do anything. I thought your defense was down. Was I supposed to give him the pie? <laughs> I feel bad now. I don't know how it was. I don't know how I was supposed to use the pod. Can we talk? You tell Asgore that he's killed you once before. He nods sadly. Move. Ha! I win. Okay. Uh. There's nothing to say. Are you serious? I ate a pie in front of.